Welcome again to DNN Custom Creations. I want to show you a little upgrade that I did on the Crossfire Pro uh, table uh, today. <clears throat> uh, I have added a little spot laser uh, to tell me where the torch is basically going to fire um, when I'm trying to set it up. I've always, you know, when I get ready to cut something out, especially off of some material that I've already had some things cut out of, uh, you know, not nested or anything, just trying to cut a new piece and see if I have enough material and make sure I'm at the edge, etc. Uh, I'll, you know, go back and forth and try and figure out where the torch is going to fire. So instead, I bought this little laser um, and a holder. Let me show you it here. There it is. Uh, it's on a little uh, a gimbal, uh, real cheap. Uh, off Amazon. I can't remember what it was, maybe eight bucks for got three lasers and another eight bucks got the little mounting system and then I had to buy some wire because I ran that wire through the um, chain, the drag chains, you know, back and then over to um, the control box. You can see the little red and black wire that's in the drag chain there and uh, came over and have a little control box. Now, <laughs> this control box, uh, I made a number of these for some kids, oh, years ago, probably 20 years ago for rocket launches, old SD's rocket launchers. So the little control box, when they turned it on, had a little blinking LED that would give them a warning that it was armed. And then the open hole there had a little um, momentary or push uh, contact switch that they would hold down, which would ignite the igniter inside the rocket uh, engine, and off it would go. Well, I thought, well, the LED's there to tell me that it's on, uh, and uh, I just mounted it with a, a double-sided tape to this box, and uh, I've basically used everything that was in the side except the momentary contact switch. So when I turn that on, uh, I get the, the spot, showing and I have now aligned that to where the torch is going to fire. The way I did that was using uh, Langmeyer's ability to do a manual torch fire. So I lowered, basically lowered the torch to, you know, firing, basically a firing position. And by the way, when it goes down so far, then I lose the ability to see the spot because you can see here it is on the side. But it's uh, at where the norm, torch normally is at rest, uh, I, don't, uh, I get a good spot. So I get it down there and set this up for manual fire. And then I just do it real quick. And where it was uh, fired at, I guess I probably should have marked a little hole, but essentially uh, all I did uh, was raise the torch and then align the little LED to the hole that the torch left. So I'm real happy with it. It allows me now to um, know where the torch is going to fire when I set up some uh, uh, cut files on the, on the table. And uh, again, it was, it was cheap. I think I had a total of, uh, well, not counting the little box that I had for the rocket uh, firing mechanism, I think it was like 16 bucks total. So I just thought I'd share that with you, and uh, I'm stoked. It works, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this thing is pretty rigid. Uh, I've moved it back and forth, and, and it always comes back to the same spot. I set that as a zero, zero, and it came back to the same spot. and. Uh, and so we should be good. In fact, I could probably try that. Let me uh, set that uh, where it is right now. I'm going to zero all my axis. I'm going to lower my torch again to pretty much a firing. Firing height. Uh, 
and we'll do another dry or manual torch fire. And I just about as fast as I can click the switch, I'm off. And I will just raise the, the torch now without moving anything else. And we will see basically that little laser spot is right pretty much dead nuts on that little uh, hole that I just fired. Uh, the hole is pretty small. Um, so I can, let me uh, increase the jog speed. And we'll move away. And then I'll go back to zero and let's see where it is. It's right back on the same same hole. So you can see uh, moving the torch around and uh, drag chains, etc., cetera, um, has not uh, uh, changed the, where the spot is. So it seems to be pretty stable. Anyway, real happy with it. Now, if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Thanks again.